Patience friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing a fragrance that I deeply love, but I haven't reviewed for you guys yet, and I haven't talked too much about either. And it's Rook Parfums, and it's Amber. Now the reason why I love this fragrance so much is because I find it to be such a uniquely beautiful and successful take on Amber. So, if you'd like to know what I think about this fragrance, then keep watching. Transparency purposes, I did purchase this fragrance. It was not sent to me to review. This fragrance retails for $135 for 50 ml, so I find this fragrance to be a luxury fragrance, but it's not crazy overpriced. So this isn't the type of fragrance where you're gonna have to mortgage your house or sell your car to be able to afford it. The most unique aspect of this fragrance has to be its almost prehistoric sensibilities in how it smells like amber. And what I mean by that is, is let me tell you the notes and then I'll give you the review. This actually isn't gonna be a long review because it doesn't need to be a long review. So I'm gonna read you the notes. You have saffron, smoke, incense, amber, maple, black musk, tonka bean, and resins. Also to kind of give you the vibe of this fragrance, if you imagined what the color cool gray would smell like, that's what I think this smells like. Now in a lot of cases, amber, and I love it when it smells like this, smells rich and syrupy and sweet and thick, and I love those fragrances. And amber and gourmands can add something resinous and rich and complex. It can really help add a complexity to gourmand and floral woody fragrances in a way that I find to be just outstanding. Recently, I've been pushing towards and really kind of really devouring fragrances that are more cold. And I love fragrances that evoke smoke, but smoke that has been smoked, like long gone. And what I mean by that is, is if you've ever been in a room where there was a fireplace and the fireplace maybe was burning the night before, but it's the morning and so the room smells kind of cold and smoky, but not warm. Or if you guys have went camping and you had a campfire and you put out the campfire and in the morning it maybe was cold from the morning dew and you smell the smoky wood, but it's cold. Or if you have incense that was burnt out and you go into a room and it's like air conditioned and you kind of smell the cold smoke. That's what I mean. What I like about Rook perfumes Amber is that it is this beautiful kind of what I would expect a prehistoric piece of amber to smell like in a way that had absolutely none of the stereotypical sweetness and roundness and syrupiness that you see in a lot of kind of amber vanilla fragrances. In fact, the maple in here, I think is just used as more of a flavoring and less of a sweetness to help kind of round out some of these notes that could be a little bit too harsh and not work well together. It kind of works, in my opinion, how sandalwood does to kind of help everything work together. You might not smell it specifically, only a little bit in the background, but it kind of helps everything, kind of glues everything together. And that's what I think the maple does here. I get this beautiful, and I mean beautiful, deep, dry, ashy smoke smell. It smells like ash that has long burnt out from a fire and it is just damp, like something just poured water on it or it was cold in the morning and the dew from the day just kind of sat there. It's not a tobacco ash, it's not like a cigarette ash, it's not dry but it's not moist. It feels earthy and wet and minerally and ozonic there is a bit of dryness from the ash, but it is not dry. I like that it is deeply resinous without any sort of sweetness or heaviness. The heaviness you get from this fragrance has more to do with this kind of feeling of a deep gray smoke in the background. It kind of hits the back of your nose. You don't smell it right away, but the longer you wear it, the more present it is. I know a lot of people say that they become kind of nose blind to their fragrance. In my opinion, this fragrance is different. The first few times, the first like hour or two you wear this fragrance, you're like, oh, here it is. And the longer you wear it, you can pick it up more and more. It's more present and powerful on the skin. 
in a way that is so beautiful and so spectacular and so grounding. And some other fragrances that have this kind of dry, smoky type of feeling to it, I say that there's a smudginess to those scents. This doesn't have that. In fact, it has a tiny bit of sweet spiciness, almost a pepperiness in the background, a little tiny bit like a whisper, like a La Croix level of saffron in here that gives it a tiny bit of complexity that kind of adds to this beautiful experience of this deep, cool, gray, smoky resinous fragrance. This is an absolutely gorgeous, artistic, but still very wearable take on a resin fragrance that I find to be uniquely beautiful, but again, still very wearable. This is also the type of fragrance that you have to smell on your skin. You need your body chemistry to warm this up and help everything co-mingle together because if you smell this on a strip or if you put it you know, underneath a glass and you smell it you know, say after an hour or so, a lot of these notes really need the warmth of your body to bloom and develop to kind of really co-mingle beautifully because it's not going to smell as good until it's on your skin. So when I first smelled this, I smelled it on a strip and I was like, oh, that's nice. But then when I tried it on my skin, I was like, oh my goodness, I get what it's trying to be. If I were to think of what a photorealistic piece of prehistoric amber would smell like, this would be it. So if anybody out there is looking for a uniquely artistic avant-garde, but still very wearable, beautiful, I would say shared resinous fragrance, I would definitely recommend checking out Amber from Rook Perfumes. It is stunning. It's not gonna be for everybody, but if you enjoy these types of fragrances, it is well worth checking out. And may I point out also the little Triforce on the side of it. I'm so pleased. This also has fantastic longevity. I get about six, sometimes 10 hours on my skin and it is a linear scent. It does start off stronger on the smoke, and, but after I'd say an hour, everything kind of commingles with more of the resins and all the aromatics, but you do smell the same from start to finish. So I do like that it's linear as well. Anyway, guys, that is my thoughts on Rook Perfumes Amber. I'd love to know what you guys think, positive or negative. Have you tried this scent? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.